If it's burning, the calves runs. We we are 100% calves. You you use the, the standing order is it's calves unless you're told not to. If the water's rolling out the front door, it's not putting out fire. The calves is attacking the fire out at its sea, it's actually taking the carbon out of the air, it's actually taking the fuel out of the air, which is making it safer for us entering buildings. The turning point of calves for me was that uh, shortly after I started here, we had a, a brush fire down the road here, and I rolled out the door with myself, an older gentleman, and a brand new probation firefighter. When I got there, the fire was probably 150, 200 foot in diameter, uh, threatening exposure. Uh, structure exposure, and it was probably 200, 250 feet away. And I think if we had a water line, I don't think we'd be able to drag it across the field as easy as we did and save that structure. We can push the calves further in some of the hose lines. The knockdown is better. The suppression is better. Um, we don't have the reignition problem that you would see with just plain water or working a fire. Um, even on a house fire, it's a reignition for a small department going back later. We almost never see that when we're using calves rigs in our community. Um, dramatic drop. It was always you had the fire and you'd go back two or three times and I think once in 16 years we've had to go back afterwards and that was just the way a building was put together. I think CAFS helps here uh, in reference to the, the lack of manpower. Um, the CAFS makes our water supply stretch even longer. So if I've got a thousand gallons of water on my engine which we carry now, I think with the CAFS it would give me almost four to five thousand gallons of water. We decided we had to do something to try to increase the firepower, so to speak, that we have here. Of course, calves giving you close to up to 10 times your water efficiency and capabilities, and our manpower getting smaller and smaller, we figured that if we could get a 750 gallon truck with calves and three guys, it'd give them something that a fighting chance to stop something. Risk a lot to save a lot. Risk nothing to save nothing. If the building's gone, I'm not gonna put a team to the front door. Um, but with the calf systems we have found, we were able to make some fairly aggressive interior attacks. And with the reach of the calf system, you can hit the fire from a little safer distance. I'm not saying surround and drown. I'm saying when you go through the door, you don't have to go all the way down the hallway and stand on top of the fire to put it out. If you put it down through into the bedroom from down the end of the hallway, the fire is going out.